do you want to blow dry your hair like a pro? If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back, I'm Mike. I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal colour specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, I'm going to be showing you how to blow dry your hair like a pro, how to use all the styling products and what equipment you should use to get the best result out of your blow dry. So, if you want to see how to blow dry your hair like a pro, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? Today's film is highly requested. Everyone's always asking me, Mike, how do you blow dry your hair? How do you style your hair? How do you use all the styling products? So you guys, in today's film, we're gonna go through all the blow drying techniques, how to get a body in your hair, and how to use all your styling products correctly, as well as what equipment for blow drying are the best for your hair. Starting off, my hair is freshly washed, and today for shampooing I used Pure Research by Siri Expert. Following that I conditioned my hair using Enforcer by Siri Expert. Those are my two go-to hair care products at the moment. I love Pure Resource and I find like the Enforcer is just brilliant for my hair. When it comes to styling your hair, when we're looking at my hair, my hair is very flat. I can never get any body into it and it just doesn't last so we really need to prep our hair but first of all we need to start with combing our hair out and for combing my hair out I love using Ibiza brush contour brush so this is a rather fantastic brush and I absolutely love it it's brilliant just for combing your hair out or even blow drying and wrap drying hair this is definitely my go-to brush because it sits really nicely against your head so when it comes to brushing out your hair we need to start with brushing it from the ends and working our way up and what that will do is it will make sure that we don't get any knots in our hair so once our hair is brushed we need to start by prepping our hair for style when it comes to prepping my hair for blow drying i usually use two of my favorite products and the first product is plea by techni art and this is a holy grail when it comes to blow drying your hair so this is the shaper it's going to hold the hair it's going to give a bit of grit so if your hair is really flat and doesn't want to hold anything this product is brilliant so how do you apply this product literally you want to make sure that the bottle is slightly away from your hair and just spray that product into your hair don't be afraid of styling product if you're using the correct styling product for your hair your hair will not feel greasy so once that is done I'd always comb my hair through so that will make sure that the product is evenly spread throughout the hair now so our hair is prepped now what am I going to put in my hair obviously I'm going to use Rebel Push Up by Techni Art this is a texturizing mousse like so I'm just going to apply a tiny bit and that's going to help me with body and texture so this is probably the amount that is perfect for my hair so let me just work that into my hair and just apply that in right so my hair is prepped now so once the hair is prepped it's like putting on your makeup you always want to Prep your skin before applying your makeup on. Does that kind of make sense? Right, when it comes to blow drying tools, obviously you need a hair dryer and this is Parallax 2800. And I tend to use that a lot because it's just plugged into my studio and I just blow dry my hair with it. When it comes to brushes, I use a lot of different brushes depending on the look I'm going for. First of all, if we're just looking for a bit of body, you need to make sure that you use a round brush and you want your round brush to do a full 360 in your hair. The brush I would recommend for that is Ibita Hair or B3 brush. So this is your classic medium round brush from Ibita brush. And what do I mean by 360? So when we have our hair, we want to make sure that our brush literally wraps around, if that makes sense. So that way we're gonna get the lift on our root and the smoothness on our hair, right? Another brush I use is the smaller version of the Ibita brush if I want to get more of a lift in my hair and more of a curl. So the smaller the brush is, the more of a curl is gonna be. But if you're just looking for a bit of lift, this brush will be perfect if your hair is the length of mine. If your hair is a lot shorter, you probably get away with using something like this just to literally lift my hair. Another brush I also love is another corkscrew Ibita brush and this is a natural fiber brush and I just love it for smoothing out my hair and brushing it and this brush stays really nicely in the hair. Right, so how am I gonna start blow drying my hair? First of all, I'm gonna use a vent brush and the vent brush for that I'm gonna use is Mazella & Palmer vent brush. So what this brush is brilliant for is literally just lifting your root out. So when your hair is as flat as mine, you need to make sure that you're gonna lift that root out. So you guys, let's get into and start with step one. Right, so I have my hair dryer and my brush in my hand and what I'm gonna start doing is, is lift 
literally because there's a lot of product in my hair my hair is going to feel slightly tackier and that's not a bad thing because my hair is so flat so i'm going to turn on my hair dryer and literally what i'm doing is i'm lifting up the root so i'm literally just lifting that out and i'm using my hair dryer on full speed and full heat so what that's going to do is see the way i'm just getting a slight lift in my root that's what we want and I'm just gonna do that all around my root area and just slightly brush my hair. When you're vent brushing your hair, you literally want to make sure that you're lifting out the root. If your hair is short, let's say if your hair is about that much, if it's like about an inch, you literally just want to brush that back and maybe slightly lift the hair. But if your hair is length, like mine, just literally lift that all up. And as you can see, it's all in the wrist. Now you want to make sure that you take about 80 to 70% of wetness of your hair. So still keep a slight bit of dampness. Now, so when that's done is our ends are still dry and we want to lift the rest. Right, so how do we go about that? Obviously, we need a hair grip. Now, when you're blow drying your hair and your hair is like quiffy kind of style like mine, you want to start at the back of your hair. Why? Because if you start at the front, let's say I'm going to take my section around the front, I'm going to blow dry that lovely, and then I'm going to go to the back. I'm nearly wrecking this section. So you want to start at the back. So we're just going to section my hair off. And this is the section I'm going to be working with. And today I'm just going to probably use my Abita brush on that. And then we're just going to keep going to the next section. Right, so a little trick is, right, I'm going to move over to the side, it's going to be easier for you to see, is you want to make sure your hair is wrapped around the brush and it just sits nicely in, right? So I'm just going to look my, at my monitor over here and I'm just going to show you how it's done. So you're literally putting the hair dryer here and you're lifting that all up. Now see the way I'm moving my wrist and my hands? So that's going to give my hair smoothness and shine. Literally lifting that up and smoothing the end. And then another trick is if you actually roll your brush down and turn the hair dryer on cold feet and just run that through, that's nearly going to set that lift in your hair. So now we're just setting it and pulling that all up. And voila, we have body. Right, you guys, so as you can see, I done another section and like that we're getting a nice lift to the root so moving on to the front section and this is probably going to be the easiest to show right so let's repeat everything we need to make sure that our brush is wrapped 360 around our hair so once you have that wrapped like this this is going to make your life so much easier you turn on your hair dryer and literally starting out the root and you lift everything up and then when you're coming to the end you want to Turn the brush around and what that's going to do is going to make sure that your ends are nice and smooth. If you're just going to pull that out, it's just going to frizz up the ends. So you really need to make sure that your ends are nicely wrapped in. And then bring that down and just put your cold blast on and just pull that down. So as you can see, we have a nice lift to my root. Moving on to the side, brush that into the center and just wrap the brush around it. And as you can see, I'm really concentrating on my ends to make sure they're nice and smooth. Rotating the brush in and cold air. over to the other side so I'm brushing that in 
the brush goes around it. And then just smoothen all that out. This is harder than I thought that it would be on camera because I'm trying to look in the mirror and trying to look at you and just making sure that you get the perfect view as well. Now as you can see we get a nice bit of lift and body into our hair and it's a lot easier to maneuver the hair because we put a lot of, lot of product that is correct for what we want. So what I normally do after I finish blow drying my hairs, I either take a boar bristle brush or the I beat a brush and I literally just put the hair dryer on cold and medium heat and I literally just brush everything back just to ensure that the hair is nice and smooth and I'm brushing everything back. So this is a good trick for someone with really short hair if they just want a bit of lift, just brush everything back with a brush like this. Right you guys, you're probably looking at me and you're like this looks a lot easier than it is and it is but it's all about practicing the one thing you really need to make sure is that your brush goes smoothly around the hair fiber so you really want that brush to just slide through and like I said it's all about the motion in your wrist so as you can see I'm just twisting that and twisting and twisting and wrapping it all back in and that's gonna ensure you the best blow drying experience and just making sure the root is dry as well. So when it comes to root lift, this brush is probably brilliant for you. Now you guys, let's go into styling. I feel like my background light is gonna die in a minute, so just forgive me for that. Right, the first product I'm gonna use for styling is Super Dust by Techniart, and I absolutely adore this product, and it is very hard to use, I find. The applicator doesn't help, and loads of people find it hard to use, but what this product is gonna do is literally gonna help to give you that root lift and hold your hair. So what I normally do is I just lift my hair up and I gently just, gently, I'm after putting loads into it, I'm just spritzing that product into my hair. And once that is in, you usually want to maneuver that product through your hair. Right, see that's looking so much better. Then to define the whole look, I'd go in with Density Material by Techniart. So, Something like density material is literally just gonna give you a shape and hold. So what you wanna do is put about that much on your fingers and really work that through your hands. And then just brush that slightly, not too much, and shape your hair. So as we can see, once we're happy with our shape, we're ready to spray it. And of course for that, I'm gonna be using Airfix by Techniart. And this is probably my favorite hairspray. I spoke about it in my top five hairsprays film. I think that what it was. And it's literally gonna hold everything. So what I do when I spray my hair is I, I nearly hold my hair in the shape I want it to sit. And I just spray that in my hair. And voila, this is my blow drying and hair care routine and guys, and I know, I know it's not easy. But with a bit of practice and a bit of patience and good product, you can achieve this look at home and blow dry your hair like a pro. Anyways guys, thank you for watching today's film. I hope you found this film rather interesting, helpful and useful. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my other social media because I post other stuff on that. And of course you guys, please, please, please take care. Bye.